The three biggest mistakes real estate agents make when going on a listing appointment with a home seller, whether you're in Concord, Charlotte, or wherever you are, boil down to this. Number one, assuming you know what the seller's priorities are in selling the house. If I were to ask a room full of agents, what is the number one thing a home seller wants? They'll usually say top dollar. But spoiler alert, y'all, money is not everybody's driving factor selling a house or anything else. Sometimes in a home sale, speed matters more. And if you're thinking, but Lee Brown, when would speed matter more? Then if you're thinking that hard, you've never lived through a nasty divorce. In a nasty divorce, it could be that the house needs to go away, also known as a marital asset, and those folks need to get to the next chapter in life and they're willing to sacrifice a little of the equity to do that. I can even give you a real life example. I actually went on a listing appointment some several years ago where we didn't sit in the kitchen. We sat in the living room because the knives were in the kitchen. And so in the living room, we were talking about this sale. What did we need to do? The wife looked at me and she said, I don't care what we sell it for, but we don't want any equity because we're not splitting it. And I said, all right. And so what we did was we priced the house to what they asked. And yes, it was a deal in the market, but it wasn't my decision to make. It was their decision to make. I gave them the information so they could choose. That's the most important thing you do as a real estate pro when you're talking to somebody selling their house. Give them every bit of information so they can decide. Put your own assumptions out the window. Take your own biases and put them aside. Listen really carefully. That's the key, which leads to number two. You've got to provide a more personalized listing presentation. And now I'm speaking to those of you who are seasoned pros. You've been doing this for a long time since dirt was created and you know how to do this. You've got a plan that works and a program that doesn't fail you. And what you would tell me is, Lee Brown, put me in front of them and I got them. All right, I love your enthusiasm and confidence. However, today's consumer craves personalization. And so when you walk into a house with anything that's canned, you're gonna turn them off right away. A great real estate pro is gonna to come to the house with a lot of information that's personalized to that property, whether it was pulling all the data in advance or it was asking great questions on the phone before you ever came to the house so you could spotlight what matters to them. Now, when we think about that personalized information, I'm gonna step on a toe or two here because real estate pros do have a tendency to think they, they know everything. I know part of that's the confidence, but part of it is that you are knowledgeable we forget though, the consumer sometimes has great inside information. For example, let's say there are four sold properties in that particular neighborhood and you brought all the data with you and you're ready to go over it with that home seller. How about this? Slow your roll for a second and when you pull up that house, ask that seller, do you know this one? What do you know about it? If that seller was friends with that neighbor or not even friends, they knew them and they said, oh, they had 37 cats in that house you might be able to say, snap, no wonder it's sold for a screaming deal compared to the market. If you don't ask that question, if you never went inside, you won't know because if you didn't know the MLS does not have smell of vision and we all know that a house that has harbored a lot of felines, oh, it's going to have its own specific odor and that can result in a value that is a discount relative to market. So ask your home seller for some insights on the comps because they may know things that you can't see with the limited information in front of you. Which leads us to another important mistake agents are making. So number three of a mistake, we forget to listen. And sometimes the problem is we're waiting until they stop talking. Like some of y'all are watching this video, when is Lee gonna stop talking? because you got something you want to say. You've got a better story to tell. You want to respond to my video with a video. That's awesome. In a listing appointment, ask this very important question. May I make a few notes? Most people are going to tell you yes, especially if you're medium age like me and they understand you won't remember. So I'm going to jot down everything they say. And then they know that I'm not just listening. I'm recording it so I won't forget. That allows me to look at my notes and respond appropriately. It's one of the most important things that we can do as humans, whether you're at a listing appointment as a real estate pro or you're talking to your neighbor on the street about the cupcakes you just bought from the sweet life across the way. 
hearing what they're saying, responding in kind, and then being thoughtful about what the next approach should be changes the game forever. Frankly, if you're a real estate pro and you stop making those mistakes, the public is going to be better served. And when the public is better served, they're going to find more joy in the American dream and then home ownership, all because of you asking great questions, listening to what they know and leaning into some curiosity and letting all your assumptions and biases go to the wayside. I'll wrap this one up with the quote that I lean on every single day. And of course, I learned it from the late, great Howard Brenton, who was probably the greatest sales trainer we ever had in real estate. Howard started every class by saying this, get out of judgment and into curiosity. If you live by that mantra as well, you'll stop making mistakes on listings. And by the way, for you that are homeowners, look for the agent that's into curiosity. It'll change your experience for the better. Now, if you've got questions about selling a house or about listing houses in a better and more effective way, then check out the link right here. And if there's something you want me to answer for you or something you want some insights on, drop it in the comments and tune back in because I got answers.